Hi and good day everyone. I am your instructor. In the previous video, you have learned about job satisfaction that is commonly defined as the extent to which employee like their works. Many studies have been devoted to figuring out the relationship between job satisfaction and organizational commitment. Literature on the relationship between organizational commitment and job satisfaction indicates that if employees are satisfied, they will develop stronger commitment to their work or current employer. Now, in this video, I will be telling you on the definition of organizational commitment and the two types of organizational commitment, effective commitment and continuous commitment. The learning objective of this subtopic is to explain how organizational commitment affects employee in the workplace. So, let me start by briefly explaining to you what is known as organizational commitment. It is the individual psychological attachment to the organization. It is an employee desire to remain a member of an organization. The basis behind many of this study was to find ways to improve how employees feel about their job so that these employees would become more committed to their organization. There are effective commitment and continuous commitment. First, let's focus on the eff effective commitment. It is the emotional attachment to organization. It is the commitment of the employee to involve and remain within organization. Employee with effective commitment will have high identification with the organization in which they have a great psychological bond to the organization. This is where you stay in the organization because you want to. Effective commitment highlights the desired component of employee to be the part of organization. Also, it shows the attachment of employees to the goals of the organization. Employees who are effectively committed feel valued, act as ambassador for the organization, and are generally great asset for organization. Further, the effective commitment of employee gets affected by a number of demographic factors such as age, sex, education, and so on. Second is continuance commitment. Continuum commitment is the calculative attachment to the organization. The experience occurs when employee has no alternative employment opportunity or leaving the organization will be a significant financial sacrifice. This is where you stay in the organization because you need to. Besides that, continuance commitment is referring to the emotional and mental commitment of employee in the organization. Some employees in the organization may feel that turning over from the organization will turn out to be costly and feel that staying in the organization is much better than leaving the organization. Also, employees in the organization develop some form of attachment with the employees and organizational work setting over the period of time, which further influence them to stay in the organization for a longer period of time. Both effective commitment and continuance commitment may positively or negatively affect employees in many different ways. Next, I will explain to you the consequences of both effective and continuance commitment. Employee with effective commitment will be li less likely to quit from their job and be absent from work because they are happy to do their job. They have higher work motivation and organizational citizenship in which they have high self-awareness to do the job without being telling to do so. Organizations that have employees with effective commitment are very lucky because this can improve their customer satisfaction as long as senior employees have better knowledge of work practice. They have better understanding on the organization, uh, organization customer. However, the limited sideback of this effective commitment is that employees tend to have high conformity, which may result in lower creativity. Employees with effective commitment tend to follow the existing practice that prevent them from trying new things. In contrast to continuous commitment, this type of commitment has more negative effect on individual and organization. Employees with continuous commitment will tend to have lower performance. Studies have indicated that continuous commitment is negatively related to job 
performance and quality of work. Those with this type of commitment will not think about their organization. Thus, their job performance will not be their priority. Organizational citizenship behavior also is of no importance for employees who have high continuance commitment. Employees will less likely engage in organizational citizenship behavior in the organization. They refuse to involve in the organization activity, increase absenteeism, as well as refuse to follow the rules of the organization. Last but not least is, employees with continuous commitment are more likely to use formal grievance. This kind of employee often raise a problem or complain to their employer. So let us continue with the five strategy in building organizational commitment. There are many ways to build organizational commitment among employees. However, there are five strategies that are frequently mentioned by literature. First, justice and support. Effective commitment is higher in organizations that fulfill their obligation to employee and abide by humanitarian values such as fairness, courtesy, forgiveness, and moral integrity. The next strategy is shared value. The definition of effective commitment refers to a person's identification with the organization and that identification is highest when employees believe their values are congruent with the organization's dominant values. As the employee experience more comfort by sharing value with others in the organization, they will tend to agree with the values underlying the organization's decision. As a result, this will increase their motivation to stay with the organization. The third strategy is known as trust. Trust refers to positive expectation one person has toward another person in situation involving risk. Having trust means that you are putting faith in the other person or group. To receive trust, you must demonstrate trust. Employee identify with and feel obliged to work for an organization only when they trust its leader. Thus, will increase job security, increase employee trust, and reducing employee layoff. Strategy number four is known as organizational comprehension. Organizational comprehension refers to how well employees understand the organization, including its strategy direction, social dynamic, and physical layout. In order to ensure this organization can provide staff with information and opportunity, to keep up to date about organizational events, interact with co-workers, discover what goes on in different parts of the organization, and learn about the organization history and future plans. Last but not least is employee involvement. Employee involvement increases effective commitment by strengthening the employee's psychological ownership and social identify with the organization. Employees feel that they are part of the organization when they participate in decisions that guide the organization's future. Basically, managers can implement effective employee commitment strategy for increased trust and motivation to enhance productivity and performance in an organization and stimulate the economy. So, as conclusion, Organizational commitment help organizations perform better and achieve their goals because their employees feel connected to the organization, are more productive and ded dedicated to their work. By understanding the concept of organizational commitment, managers in the organization can become more aware of their level of commitment, bridge gaps in communication and eventually provide higher quality of performance.